Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we will learn how double entry or the basic accounting works in SQL by using the stock group. So, let us go to SQL Accounting System and create an invoice. I'll show you how invoice create in the future tutorial. But over here, what I want to show you is when we select an item in invoice, we know that the double entry for an invoice is a sales, so it's credit sales debit debtors. You can see that debtors is your customer and this will be your debit side. But what about credit? This is the item. By using the field chooser, meaning right click on any of this column title, we can see the field chooser. Then we can drag the account up. By doing this, we know that this will be your credit side. But the question is, we have so many sales account in our chart account. You see, we have so many sales account. But why system will use this one 500-2000? First thing the system will do is, system will look at this item, Maxis Prepaid. System will look at this item and see which item group this item belong to. It belong to the item group PRE. Then the system will check under PRE what is the sales account 500-2000. So that's the reason why system will use 500-2000 as the sales account. Let's look at another item. This time is antenna. The system will use 500-1000, another sales account. Again, system will check this item. This item is belong to an item group called ACC. Then we look at ACC. SCC sales account is 500-1000. So this is how system determine the sales account or which sales account to be used, which we define in the stock group, which all the individual item belong to. There's another scenario that you do not maintain the item, but you directly key in the description. Maybe this is training or this is services. The system will use 500-40. Uh, Why? Once you did not select the item group, meaning that there's no item code, there's no item group. So the system will use the default, which you define in tools option general ledger sales account. So that's the reason why system use this 500-40 is because of the default sales account. So meaning to say that stock group is the place where you need to define the individual sales or purchase account and also costing method for individual stock group which tie back to the individual stock item. But no worry, if you only have one sales and one purchase account, meaning you do not need to touch this part. It's because system already have a default stock group for all the item. Okay, so you only need to touch this part is if you have multiple sales or purchase account. I hope you understand this because this is very important to SQL. This is how the double entry work in SQL accounting system. So that's all for today. If you have time, do drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help to like my page because this is where you can learn all the latest information regarding SQL and also the GST information. You may go to my website syntax.com.my, go to 
YouTube and you can watch all the previous tutorial video. Well, thank you for your time and once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.